Hey, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to download Smart Gaga Android emulator on a Windows 10 PC. We're gonna walk through the steps of downloading it, installing it, and checking out the features. So let's get started. To begin, we wanna open up a browser, open up a new tab, head over to Google and type in Smart Gaga. Now the official website for Smart Gaga is smartgaga.com, but we wanna download the Windows executable file. And you can find that at gonglu.com. Gonglu.com. You'll see it in the search when it comes up. And then we're gonna specifically look for the Windows download file. Now you have two versions. You can do Android 4 or you can do uh, Android 7. And we're gonna go ahead and download Android 7. We prefer the newer one because it's just more compatible with most games out there. So go ahead and click on it and we'll let it download. Again, this is about 200 megs. Uh, most emulators are anywhere from 200 to 400 megs. This is exactly 287. So we'll let that download. And uh, once it's downloaded, we're going to open it up and install it. So I've downloaded this a few times and depending on the server that you're connected to, it seems to be a little bit slow. Um, for my connection, I have about a 500 meg connection. Uh, so for you, you might have the same thing. It might take a few minutes to actually download. It's not that huge, but it might take some time to download. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna speed this up to the end and then we'll start installing it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open it up and uh, you can see the little shield here, so it might require some extra skills. So we're gonna run it as administrator. We're gonna right click on it, run it as administrator, and we get prompted, you can say yes to this and the installation will begin. We'll just click on next. We'll next our way through this wizard, hit on agree. All right, and now you can specify where you want to download it by clicking on browse. We're going to use a default folder. We'll just click on install and it'll install fairly quickly here. And a quick reminder, if you enjoy the videos, please give us a like. Okay, so at the end, we have the box to check it and run it. So we're going to leave that box checked. You can see the shortcut on the desktop and this we're going to run it so we're going to leave that checked and it's just going to load up the necessary files while it tries to get this emulator up and running we're getting a request from our firewall to allow access we can just click on allow access and let it go through obviously it's going to need to connect to the internet this is smart gaga loaded on a windows 10 pc here it is up and running so what we'll do is we'll just quickly go over some of the features of this Android emulator. Okay, here at the top, full screen mode, quickly adjusted from here, and then access to your keyboard. I love this feature. Now, if you have an APK file that you want to quickly load, there's like this little icon here to quickly launch, open up uh, whatever APK file you have, whether it's PUBG, Among Us, or any other popular game that you're trying to uh, install. You can just go over to your downloads folder, select the APK file, click on open, and then boom, it's gonna get installed right into the emulator. Really nice feature. Volume up, volume down, screenshot um, shortcut here. And uh, below that, we have the multi instance. This is another awesome feature. You click on this, and it's automatically gonna pop up another instance of the exact same emulator. Side by side, if you're running more than one app, say you wanna have a messaging app on one and then a game on another, then you can go ahead and do that. You can do that multiple times. The only downfall for running multiple sessions is the CPU and RAM that it'll take up. So depending on what you're trying to do, you may or may not wanna do this. And then you have GPS settings. If you wanna shake it, you can click on this button and it'll sh uh, send a vibration shake. And then the settings. Again, this is pretty standard stuff. One thing that's cool here is in here, you can select the version of Android that you're using. We have Android 7, but if you click on this menu, you can actually toggle in between Android 7 and Android version 4. So you can go back and forth between the two versions. Uh, you can also set it auto. So depending on the game and the requirements, it'll automatically toggle back and forth. Advanced settings, you have resolution uh, changes that you can do, uh, CPU, RAM, and uh, other settings. Uh, for the game, you can change the render quality and resolution as well. And then when you have all this, you can just save your settings and then just exit out of all this altogether. 
So this is Smart Gaga on a Windows 10 operating system. If you have any questions, you can put them below in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, please give us a like. Appreciate all the likes that you guys have been giving us and helping us grow. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.